turn away from the needs of others, we align ourselves with those forces which are bringing about this suffering. The White House is a bully pulpit and you ought to take advantage of it. Obesity in this country is nothing short of a public health crisis. I think I just had little antennas that went up <laughs> and told me when somebody had their own agenda. Because there's so much influence in that office, it would be just a shame to waste it. I think they serve as a window on the past to what was going on with American women. She becomes the chief confidant. She's really, in a way, the only one in the world he can trust. Many of the women who were first ladies, they were writers. A lot of them were writers, journalists. They wrote books. They are, in many cases, quite frankly, more interesting as human beings than their husbands, uh, if only because they are not first and foremost defined and consequently limited by political ambition. Edith Roosevelt is really one of the unsung heroines. When you go to the White House today, it's really Edith Roosevelt's White House. During the statement, you were a little breathless, and there was too much looking down, and I think it was a little too fast. Not enough change of pace. Yes, ma'am. I think in every case, the First Lady has really done whatever fit her personality and her interest. She later wrote in her memoir that she said, I myself never made any decisions. I only decided what was important and when to present it to my husband. Now, you stop and think about how much power that is. It's a lot of power. Part of the battle against cancer is to fight the fear that accompanies the disease. She transformed the way we look at these bugaboos and made it possible for countless people to survive and to flourish as a result. I don't know how many presidents realistically have that kind of impact on the way we live our lives. Just walking around the White House grounds, I am constantly reminded about all of the people who have lived there before, and particularly all of the women. First Ladies, Influence and Image, a C-SPAN original series produced in cooperation with the White House Historical Association. Season two premieres September 9th as we explore the modern era and First Ladies from Edith Roosevelt to Michelle Obama.